We've seen the FIF flows improving for us. We've seen the macroeconomic uh, data supporting the sentiments as well. Sectoral rotation really looking, uh, you know, taking the leadership in the markets. All of these things have, uh, in fact, led the markets to take this, uh, uh, you know, plunge towards uh, the all-time high levels as well. We are seeing that we are just about uh, 100, 150 points away from the all-time high levels as far as the Nifty is concerned. Uh, your own thoughts? Can uh, is, is it just a matter of time before? Before we see the benchmark index really reach that all-time high level and then what goes beyond that? Sachi, see, if you see, uh, let us understand what has happened in this financial year and what are the factors which has contributed to this flare-up in the markets. Sure. If we see the markets the, uh, in this financial year, the small cap index has given a return of somewhere 20%. Correct. The same way, if you see the mid caps, the mid cap index has given a return of somewhere at 17%. And if you see Nifty, the Nifty has given a return of somewhere at 9.76, which is mostly dominated by the large caps. Mm -hmm. What has really flared up this thing is the fourth quarter GDP numbers, which has come beyond expectation at 7.2%. Yeah. Yeah. RBI pausing the interest rates. Indian inflation coming at 4.25% versus the earlier trajectory of RBI at 6%. Mm -hmm. And crude settling at somewhere between $72 to $77. Anyways, India is getting cheap uh, discounted crude oil from Russia. So that is favoring Indian economy as well as the forex of India. So these were few of the factors which has really freed up the market to a from a 16,800 odd levels in March to a 18,700 levels which we are currently seeing. It. Now the two most important thing which we have to look at currently is what is the valuation at which the Indian markets are trading in and the geopolitics which is one of the very caveat before anything. Now, if you talk about the valuation perspective, MSCI India is trading at currently at 115% premium to the MSCI emerging markets. Now, such a type of scenario we have seen in September 2021, where the Indian market was trading at 18,800, which was the highs of that. And the Indian uh, MSCI India was trading at a 120% premium to emerging markets. And we have seen a fall in the market from 18,800 to somewhere at 16,800 or 900 levels. We are witnessing the same level currently where Indian MSCI India is trading at 115% premium to emerging markets. If the other side is, if you see the Nifty earnings for financial year 23, we have ended up at a EPS, Nifty EPS of 820. Hmm. With the current market trading at 18,600, 700. We are trading at a price to earning, trailing price to earning multiple of 22 times. Correct. Now, if you see the long term mean average of Indian markets over the last 10 years, the price earning multiple was somewhere at 18.6 to 19.1. Mm -hmm. So, you can say that we are a bit uh, slightly on a richer side of the market. Okay. But for the most of the analysts has come with a projection that for this financial year, that yeah. is financial 24, we are talking about a EPS, Nifty EPS of 970 to 980. Mm -hmm. Now, if a 970 EPS with a 21 uh, uh, PE multiple, yeah. we, are talk, we are talking about a plain mathematics that market will be and somewhere at ending up at this calendar year or maybe the next quarter of the next year at somewhere at 20,000 odd levels. So on a longer, 000. yeah. So on a longer term, we are very bullish on the Indian markets. Indian market look poised to do very well. It looks very promising. But might be on a shorter term, we might see some sort of profit booking because market has given a fabulous return over the last two months. So there can be a possibility of some profit booking. But yeah, on a longer term, we are looking that market will be really bullish and sectors uh, will do quite well. Maybe FMCG, real estate, banking, auto will, will help us participating in this rally. Okay, understood that. But uh, will it be long before the markets really peak out? You did say that 19,000 by this uh, financial year end or maybe the first quarter of the next no, year. I'm talking about, yeah. we are talking about 20,000 odd levels by this calendar year. 20,000 levels, you said. Yeah, 20,000 odd levels by the calendar year. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.